hopefully. Sorry about this, everybody. Whoever's popping in and out. Sorry about this, everybody. Whoever's popping in and out. That's better. Original therapy. I will show you the film I created. And at the end, you will tell me what feelings you had while watching it. And if you saw anything worthwhile. A couple of acres. Thank you for the host. Rise of insanity. The patient's data. Edward. 41 years old. Day, September 1st. I know Edward as far back as I remember. He worked as a gardener in our neighborhood. From the preliminary interview, I got to know that he suffers from a dream disorder. He has constant nightmares and can't sleep well, as well as a memory disorder. Sometimes he doesn't remember what happened a couple of days or hours ago. I have some suspicions connected with his case, but it's too early for the detailed diagnosis. Okay. Preliminary interview, initial diagnosis, testing you, therapy, waiting for results.
Hmm. I didn't want that. I need some of these candies. Right. You can open random things. Ooh, a duck. Breeding birds taxidermy. Dr. Dowell launches his new experimental treatment method. Oh god. The family's tragedy. A mother and child were murdered, and the violator was... Dear Mrs. Dowell, I would like to remind you that you gave me a free hand in development of one part of the garden. Therefore, my decision was to mainly plant dahlias. I have accentuated them with clem clematis flowers. I surrounded everything with white poppies. You will be delighted, but... Very much a layers of fear feel. More in school. Honey, please turn off the TV. It's going to be stormy. What? Sweetheart, remember that you are on duty today. No, I don't want to be. Still a bit of a loading screen, like. Jeez. Patient Edward Forty One, day September eleventh. Patient has told me about his dreams, where he tries to murder his wife and child. As far as he said before, he's a bachelor, and he hasn't said anything about children. It could be some traumatic memory from his childhood. I have to get to know about it during our next meeting. It is a harder case than I expected, 
some symptoms indicate that the patient can possess a multiple personality. But these are only suspicions. I have to ask my friend, Abraham. It is nothing certain. Please come to the morgue for identification purposes. Dear Abraham, I apologize for not having written so long. I was occupied with family and work matters and did not have enough time. I trust that you are okay. How is your wife, Berta? I currently have a case of, certain, of a certain patient, Edward Smeard. <laughs> he is 41 years old. He is reporting problems with sleeping and memory. I noticed he seemed to have certain minor tics. There are times when he suddenly and strangely moves the small finger of his left hand. He told me about a nightmare that had been haunting him for some time. It is the only dream that he is able to remember. He told me he had attempted to kill his wife and child in that dream. However, he was not able to do it. He constantly wakes up before the very end. It is very strange because Edward is actually a bachelor and does not have any children. What do you think of this? My assumption is that these are the beginnings of schizophrenia or a multiple person personality disorder. However, you are the one who has more experience in psychopath uh, psychopathology. Best regards, Stephen Dowell. Yeah. I'm the fucking cool. Mother and seven-year-old son murdered. What? The key to her heart is located where your journey began. My journey began. That was at home. Run. Thank you, ghost. Fucking hell. Check eyesight room number six. What the hell? Why outwards? Hey Lucy, how are you? And thank you for the congratulations. How have you been? It's been a long time. <laughs> I 
Like, you've been subscribed for nine months. We're having a Baba Man. <laughs> uh, did I just do that wrong? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. Let's see. Right, I've just created it. Oh, whatever. My shout out's not working, man. Jeez. Be messing about. Don't want them on. Don't want that on. No. Oh, outer one on. We have dicks by now. Very well, thanks. Bet you're super excited for the baby girl. I am. Very much excited. I can't wait. Put everything back on. I'll try. What have you been up to anyway? Anything exciting? I'm gonna try the shout out again. There we go. So six two nine. Target practice while you can. We're deploying soon. Working on it. <laughs> Shouldn't be in that way. Work, 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 and start Pilates for my bad back, which is helping. Oh, amazing. I am. Um, I've been, I've went to a chiropractor for my bad back, but in the gym, gym and swimming, gym and swimming, we've been good, just very busy with work, I think everyone's the same lately, like, with work and stuff, but I'm looking forward to this whole month of horror games, we're on to game number four, not that I think that'd be Hawk and Rat, take it, fuck. I love going to the chiropractor. Me too. 100%. Just expensive. Oop, when did you get back? <laughs> um, some time ago, I had a few issues of um, sound. I've managed to get my console gaming to um, oh, work with Dick Spa. So, Lucy, if you go to the Dix Dick Spa, I'll be able to give you some crates for free. You should have some actually if you're registered. How you been, Lama? How's work? Oh. Is the game too dark? Oh, you mother! Mm. Take these jump scares. Month of it. So I'm gonna be streaming hopefully every day of our Wednesdays and Thursdays. I might see you come back in every now and then. Oh Lama, I downloaded that metal hell singer. I haven't tried it yet but Gain control over him.
to check out the Run so <laughs> Oh, hello. Well, I've got the key, so... Yeah, so far this has reminded me of uh, Layers of Fear. Is there any horror games that anyone wants to see me play? Except this. Except this one. Fuck. Busy cook and saw you gone live by the time I could dive into it. So I was having issues with my uh, my microphone was like echoing and I couldn't work it out. So I was like, I don't want to continue messing on with my um, sound live so i turned it off i think i restarted the stream about three times but thank you for coming back <laughs> daddy play with me for your face first son what you cooking what you cooking where is the border between dream and reality what is our life is it that w what is dreamt of that or what we dreamt about? Tell me, dear Susan, what would you do if you couldn't sleep? Would you be able to take control over the dream that does not come but haunts you? Eddie. Every time I stream, some dog kicks off. Outside. Hero Dowell, age seven. Male. Place of death, family home, cause of death, strangulation and sleep. at all because you do this ah <laughs> Does the sound sound okay? Because what I've done is I've managed to change it so Dixper can be done within my Elgato software, but it's different software. No worries, Lucy, thank you. Ooh, good luck with your job interview tomorrow, and good luck with your prep. You better let us know how it goes. Thank you. And thanks again for the sub. Theodore is a very talented child. He is very calm and he has the character of a dreamer. The only thing that disturbs me is the shadowy shape which often appears in his drawings. It's probably a character from a comic or something. Nothing to be worried about. Hmm. It is something to be worried about. <laughs> Zach? Ducky, please. Lay down. Duck down. Go down. Down. Ooh, fajitas. I've not fajitas for ages. Normally my specialty. Glad the missus is in chair right now, she'll be wanting for heaters. Do 
we need this? Take yours proper spicy. So we don't buy the proper spicy stuff. Especially now she's uh, due. Uh, like pregnant, so. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Dear Mrs. Darwell, I'm very pleased that you fancy my floral composition. I have received your comments and further recommendations. I will plant rod rhododendrons as per your wish. I will have to drive my car in front of the greenhouse to move the seedlings. I hope you don't mind, Edward. Missing pages. Theodore. Stop it, Saki. I'll change. There's a dog just kicking off out in it. Disturbing effects of new treatment method. The treatment method for severe psychological disorders by Dr. Stephen Dowell is based on applying strong visual stimuli to the patient. It is aimed at putting the patient in a hypnotic trance, during which he stands face to face with his fears and deepest thoughts. The results of the treatment, however, are far from expectations. So far, following therapeutic sessions with the doctor's films, patients have plunged into apathy apathy, depression, or experienced epilepsy attacks continuing a long time after the appointment. The main association of psychologists is watching Dr. Stephen Dowell with anxiety. They plan to meet with the author of this controversial research. Mm. Dr. Stephen, my wife is very well as usual. Let's move to the essence of the case. You should remember that we have had a similar case in the past. It was the case that you took active part in. We are overworked, you might have forgotten. I think that you should, with the use of suggestion, help your patient to finish the dream. Hypnosis can be too invasive. Try to ask him about his past. Accepting traumatic events as he has experienced that could be the starting point in merging his different selves. Looking forward to your next letter. Greetings, Abraham. Who's this beautiful drawing? Thank you. Oh, can I knock it out now? Oh. So pretty. Llamas haven't feed us the tea. What are you making? Right up, left down. Oh. 
Ah. So the white. No? White or left. So white right, white or white left, right down. is the code hey lady with a baby <laughs> She's out and about, so she'll be, uh, we'll come back to the chat. <laughs> Thank you for the parts. Oh, no, Patient Edward 41. Taking some pieces of advice from my friend Abraham, I established that Eddie suffers from a very mild split personality disorder. The other personality hasn't shown yet and hasn't taken him under control. There are only problems with memory and mild tics. I have to think about the kind of therapy I will apply. Mm. He wants a banana. Oh. I'm gonna meet this because he's gonna kick off. This is an annoying little dog on the park that just walks around barking at nothing, and I thought Zach was bad. Hello? Steven? Are you here? Steven? It's Eddie. So, Lama, when are you gonna start streaming? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Zach? Daddy. They're in the basement. Stop, Zach, please. I'm gonna check all these horrible rooms. Oh. Oh. Isn't he beautiful? Oh. 
gonna have to fucking turn the thing like. None of these other doors. Yeah. Caught. I'm waiting for a scene where I'm being ch chased down there, like. <laughs> She's um, she's, she was there, she's, she's got it on loop, but she's currently threatened for an interview tomorrow at, at a hospital. So she is, she is here, but she's not here. Yeah. Dear Stephen, analysing your previous letters and observations, I believe that the problem is connected with... Please give, please give it more thought. I'm worried about you and your family. When I come back from... I will ask... I will visit you and we will talk, Abraham. Send your wife and child someplace. Make sure that they're safe. My name, yep. <laughs> oh, Dictaphone. Patient Eddie, forty one. The theater support worker. Oh, that would Having be amazing. Acquainted with the traumatic busy. Eddie's past life, violence in the family, and pathology. I've decided that I will use a <laughs> less invasive off, method of treatment. We can handle without Lucy's hypnosis. To prep. The confrontation Lucy's with the past and dreams Oi. connected with some mild anxiolytics Listen. should be enough. I think that no. finishing the dream, so killing the wife and child can join his split selves. All we need to do is wait and observe. Oh, that's, that's, that's very kind of you to move the bed for me. So polite, these ghosts, they open doors, they move beds out of your way. Saint Jonah Hospital. <laughs> Too easy. Lifts. Oh, kitchen. Breaking news. As the investigation has shown, the police have established that the brutal murder of the family of the famous doctor of psychology was caused by the local gardener, Edward S. Don't wind them when you pick them up. Freaky. Oh my god. 
Stop, stop it! Stop moving things! You lost. <laughs> Remember, Dix doesn't have a well, man. You should have some. Some crates. You should have got one at least. Must be broke. Oh my god. Ah. I did it on my phone, like, but you've got to do it through the. That's right. Am I being Edward? I must be Edward, the gardener who killed everybody. What? What? I died. Oh, no, then. Sometimes I suffer terribly because I have to restrain myself. When I see you preparing dinner, holding a beautiful knife in your hand, I imagine us. Together with cold steel in your bowels. I look at your beautiful eyes, glazed with tears, and your life slowly fades. I dream of giving you a last kiss on your fading lips, Eddie. What the fuck, Eddie? Yeah, it's getting us. He's not a keeper. Fucking hell, definitely not. Run, run like fuck. <laughs> Very true. So why didn't my head torch just scare him away? <laughs> Dead boy buried in garden. As a result of an ongoing investigation, the police have found the body of Theodore Dowell, son of a well-known psych psychologist, was murdered and buried in a greenhouse on the premises by Gardner Edward. Bloody hell. Oh 
what the f Right, okay, what's going on here, like? Changing. I know, man. What? Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Famous psychologist accused by the Committee of Ethics. The experimental method of treating severe psychological disorders developed by Dr. Stephen Dowell, which is us, has been raising controversy for a long time. After sessions conducted at the doctors, the condition of patients significantly deteriorated. Yet, Mr. Dowell is convinced of the procedure's correctness. The main association of psychologists has conducted interviews among people examined with the use of Dowell's films. The investigation led to a former patient who has committed suicide following his experimental sessions. The young girl threw herself under a speeding train. The psychologist treating her is known to have hidden all traces and methods leading to the patient. The doctor has even gone as far as falsifying the autopsy files to avoid consequences. The Medical Ethics, Com Ethics Committee has put Dowell's right to exercise his profession at stake, and the injured family has announced legal proceedings. Uh, patient, uh, the date of today is 28th of March. <laughs> March. Do you think the music's a bit rough? Okay, it's the full fucking sentence. Weird case only, only experimental methods. Only experimental, <laughs> no. <laughs> Why him? <laughs> Why him? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he has his I'm certain a minute I'm not finished. So I'm just going to push forward. He understands his dreams do not allow him to sleep. Very long, I forgot to do the show. Yo, wait!
flushed just as you did that. <laughs> oh, where am I going? <laughs> really? I don't know what happened to your shout out, mate. Let's give you another one. Where's your clips? Oh, there we go. They must have uh, clashed. Right, Donald. Are oh, you being made of your work or? Yes, that's a child for I've got the helicopter! Man in bed was on an early. Ooh! You're not gonna stream? Why is he not streaming? How you been anyway? <laughs> oh. Good. Glad it's helped. Theodore is a very talented child. He is a very calm and he has the character of a dreamer. The only thing that disturbs me is a shadowy shape. Nothing appears in his drawings. It's probably a character from a comic or something, nothing to be worried about. Which is the note we read earlier. David Lott from watching TV. <laughs> Turn him down. <laughs> Please, gain control over him. <laughs> I do, I do. Where is the border between a dream and reality? What is our life? Is it that what we dreamt or that what we dream about? Tell me, dear Susan, would you, what would you do if you couldn't sleep? Would you be able to take control over the dream that does not come but haunts you? Again, same letter as before. Eighth, 17th of the 8th, 1973. Teddy's third birthday was great. The party was held in our garden. All dishes and desserts were made from fruits that we picked there. The only thing that got me worried was that Stephen took an active interest in Teddy's, Teddy's mental development. He's only three and his father's already forcing him to learn to read. I have to talk to him. Have you got your watch or something connected to your heart rate? I have. It's high. I'm not the fittest. He was cooking for heaters before. I Made mean, my heart rate go right up. <laughs> oh. I played the game Blair Witch last night, yesterday. What a game. You need to do it. Steven, can I get into the bathroom for a while? Hi, I'm 
feeling he was American for lost or sorry he wasn't able to say hi but the horse too most of it <laughs> Hosted, but it must be said end of October. You might have an update on your um on your app compared to his. Fifth of the fourth, nineteen seventy five. Due to many responsibilities, I don't have time to take care of our garden. I've asked Stephen to help me to hire someone to help. At least that much he can offer. That's all I can ask for. Not coming up on yours. Yeah, you must have updated your app. It's fine, but thank you for even trying. I can't stand these ma maniacal attempts to make a genius of our child. Stephen is out of line. Taking our child to hospital and ho testing him with mental development methods is a sick fad. Sometimes I think this marriage was a big mistake. I will drag Teddy to his grandma. He could use a little break from his father. Yeah, they are gonna. Yeah, they were getting rid of it. I thought it was the end of this month, unless it was the end of September. I don't know why, like, I think it was a good thing to have. Plus, his support. Yeah, I know. I think it's a mistake taking it away. It'll come back, it might come back. Here you go. You show him the food. mixed feelings about our relation. Stephen is my employer and I owe him a lot. I know this is not a discussion to be held through a letter. Let's meet in the garden in two days, the usual spot, Ed. Bitch, get out of the shop. through my tweet recently and added use all of mine and sorted through things and I do get a stream properly I'll hopefully be sorted my internet is just holding me back at the minute which shit hopefully you'll be back on dear Abraham thank you so much for sending me Dr. Alfred's Bennett's publication about the verification of children's IQ thanks to it I have come up with a great idea I will not let you in on the details yet. Halloween, Zaki! Um, 
I do not want to jinx it. All I can say is that it will be connected with increasing IQ of very small children in the initial part of their mental development. It will be revolutionary. Imagine this, intellectual elites develop from their earliest age to advance our world in science. Mankind may witness great discoveries thanks to- Where'd you get sword. those eyes? Me man! Me man? This was toilets earlier. Research theme. The test of the therapy increasing the intelligence among children. The subject of the research, Theodore Dow. No, the first attempts to increase, increase IQ, I started, started using suggestion and, and manipulation it method during REM bad. sleep. The much. subject handled the experiment very well. Just don't play online I began games. the observation <laughs> and started the manual visual tests phase. Yeah, but when four areas in the house using the same internet, it goes bad. Ah, oh, right. Oh, another key. Oh, oh. That's a sheet. <laughs> I thought it was a fucking shadow. Jesus. Oh, the room that had the... Oh. The doll in. Why would you have a lamp bulb next to a candle? <laughs> no, I'm scared. Because I've played, this is my fourth horror in three days. At least one, a, one every day, except Tuesdays and Thursdays. Wednesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. I'm gonna do a mongle sleep soon. Smiley, they live a little longer. Seeing that movie smile. That was pretty as fuck by the way into the sleep well. I don't think it was that scary. It wasn't even I, I, I thought it was a bit of a letdown. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't as good as I thought.
Mm, yeah. <coughs> Dear Abraham, it's all gone to hell. My entire plan, all of it. Everything was based on suggestion, and then on an attempt to manipulate dreams in, our, in the REM phase, I was testing on my son, Teddy. I thought it would not be harmful that I had nothing to lose. On the, on the con contrary, I would be the one to form the first genius in the family created with this method. His marks at school are higher indeed, but he lacks empathy, and I started to be afraid of the darkness. My wife forbade me to continue my research. Why did I even attempt to try this on my son? I am abandoning this project and sending your materials back. Thank you for them. I will not need them anymore. P.S. I might have an interest in patience soon. Regards, Stephen. Hmm. Oh, I love it. For fuck's sake. Horror movies these days like never live up to your standards, so even watching them since you were a kid. These new ones will never live up to stuff. Yeah, they kind of go for like, I think the problem with Smile was he used a lot of noise to make the jumps rather than. <laughs> this kind of stuff, what the? Well, you know. Oh, it was better than hatched, I know that much. <laughs> it wasn't that crap for it to walk out, no. It was dragged out though, I, th I find a lot of movies are like that now. dragged out. I wouldn't tell people not to go and see it. I just don't expect. Because the trailer sells it very well. Um, she, Lucy is there lurking, but she's studying, she's prepping for an interview, so... Do they not see the chat? You watched Hatched? It was fucking shocking. I, I walked out. I walked out. Um, I don't like things with animals getting hurt and it was just over the top. I walked out of Hatched. We didn't go and voluntarily see it. We went to see the Scream Unseen, which was the return of Scream Unseen, so we expected something amazing. Um, and nah, I didn't like it. It was a Scream Unseen, yeah. What a way, what a way to force people to go and see it. Yeah, I walked out. <laughs> I just, nah. <laughs> Did you walk out though? <laughs> I stayed, I paid a five, I ain't leaving. <laughs> I didn't, well I pay for Limitless, so... Eleventh to the ninth, nineteen seventy six. The strange sessions with Teddy have allowed me, allowed to obtain the outcomes that my husband so strongly desired. Is a toxic father-son relation worth it? Teddy is no longer as happy as he had been before. He had become very afraid of the darkness. On the one hand, this is normal at his age. I truly don't know. I can only rely on Eddie, but he seems strange recently. Remember that Willem Dafoe one we walked out of? Um, can't remember the name of it. If I'd paid the five of Lucy, by the way, I probably would have went out and said I want my money back. Although their argument is, you know, you don't know what you're going to see. Well, we'll pay for Limitless. We're allowed to walk in. 3rd of the 9th, 1976. 13th of the 9th, sorry. I've been trying to improve my marriage, but the complete lack of Stephen's interest is just killing me. 
He's constantly talking about his new treatment method. I feel imprisoned in this relationship. I cannot see any future for it. I know this is a bit reckless, but I am beginning to feel freer with Eddie. I enjoy the interest that only he has given me. Can he start having an affair with the gardener? No! Cheating bitch. I find there's a, is a lot of money now, I can't even get 20 nuggets of that anymore. A lot. <laughs> um, well, how much are nuggets now, like? Thing is, I walk into a screen and scene with the mindset that it's a film I wouldn't necessarily watch if I knew what it was. Yes, true. Sometimes you've had a good one, like sometimes, but be it's their way of getting people to see films that the norm children. not many will go and see, so. I don't like subtitled films, but the ones that have been shown have been really good. Ah, uh, yeah, seeing Hatch with subtitles because it was in Finnish, wasn't it? Was it annoying? 17th of the 8th, 1973. Teddy's third birthday was great. Depends where you go, different at every store. What, McDonald's is different? Party was held in our kitchen. All dishes and desserts were made from fruits that we picked there. The only thing that got me worried was that Stephen took an active interest in Teddy's mental development. He's only three and his father has already forced him to learn to read. I have to talk to him. Ah, didn't know that. We've got one near us now and we don't really go. Been there since my grandma moved, so. <laughs> I city have the factory where the nuggets are made for McDonald's or Fiverr for a big bag. It's only 20 minutes, mate. It's only 10 minutes down the road, really. Wow, a Fiverr for a big bag? That would be a lot. <laughs> How often do you buy them, Lucy? Since COVID, they've reduced the opening times of the shop they have always. Oh, well, that's a shame. I could make my way through 40 life, but they never do those boxes in the UK. And I couldn't, like. Oh, what happened there? It crashed, motherfucker. Forty. Now I end up giving some of mine away to Zach and stuff. Anyway. Wigs, you need any food? That's bloody takeaway. For free. 
Wait, okay, so didn't go too far back. Therapy increasing the intelligence among children. Intelligence among children. I've read that a few times now. few times. No, you can't help but share with Zach, no. It's just eyes. It's those eyes. Let's pick up his duck. The subject handled the experiment very well. I think it's because I was missing the boot. Don't crash again. These are the loading screens, by the way. Uh -huh. Anyways, when can I see my nephew? Ain't seen in about two months. Seen you and the missus more recently. That's weird. Well, he was just at my mother's the other day, but I think this might have broke. He's asleep. I'll send you a photo. What the hell? Done it again. I'll let you know when next over. Well, one of the times we're over gospel, I think I'm going to see him. Hmm. Try this one more time. The game keeps bugging. Wigs, do us a favor. Can you test the dick spur, please? Therapy increasing the intelligence, like. among intelligence among children. Intelligence among children. Oh, it's been there for a while. Let's just kiss one. Oh, so I normally just go into my safari. I do it through my, um... Don't worry, if not, it's fine. And if I open the trial against Edward about Susan Dowell, and if I open the trial against Edward... I'm scared to try this door. I just keep crashing. That before as well, didn't it? <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to call this one like. God damn it. God damn it. 
probably go to among the sleep. Oh, don't knock twice. Could do don't knock twice. Halo and I'll try and get my no, because it's not going to be ages I'm on. Um, please don't. Yes, another time, definitely. Just gonna test. Let's do a drop there. How many? Interrupting zombie. <laughs> Thank you. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> right, sensitivity. I don't want to pick that up because I've read I've read about the achievements. How do you open this door? Oh, 
Thank you. The witch is back. the hell? How do you read it? Situated, situated in the southern part edge of the Welsh Valleys lies a stunning example of the understated architecture. It took its style form in the late 1700s and its core as a medieval rectangular tower and an inner courtyard which connects the unusual layout of the building, consisting of an entrance hall, drawing room, kitchen, breakfast room and games room. Attached to the rear of the house is a restored chapel which is currently being used as an art studio. The house is a Grade 2 listed building and recently underwent a comprehensive renovation by the new owners, the Webb Thomas family. Let's drop it. read this letter then through, rudely threw it away. Oh. Rot. Oosh. No. I don't want to. I fucked up now, haven't I? Why do you open the bloody doors? I need the candle. What, what, what? Did not 
talking? I thought it was a bloody thing, man. Why did you turn the power off? I hate you. Didn't? Chloe's diary, October 10th, 2016. She dumped me all those years ago and now she just waltzes back into my life and expects me to just carry on like everything's okay. But it's not. I just wish she'd left me the, the fuck alone. She's trying to wow me with her fancy job and her big new house, but there's no hiding the truth. She abandoned me and I can't stop hating her for that. We're strangers now. She's not fit to be a mother and she'll probably just send me back to the home once she's tired of me. Is that really all for you guys? Is that? In the story behind the behind award winning artist and sculptor Jessica Webb Thomas. Inspiration came, can come from anywhere, from anything. Mine is driven by my relationship to this world and what I feel connected to. Since I was nine years old, I knew I wanted to be an artist. I was always pushing it with clay, but I wasn't. it wasn't until my teens that I found I had true talent for sculpting, and I still love it to this day. I'm fascinated by the bonds we make as humans, the strongest bond between a mother and her baby. Is that coming from? Hello. What the? Department of Health and Social Services, Division of Child Welfare. 2nd of December 2016. Temporary custody order. Dear Mrs. Jessica Webb Thomas, please accept this letter as a form of agreement regarding Chloe Ann Webb. In the light of evidence provided and with the consent of Chloe, we are happy to inform you we are able to arrange your trial custody period with your daughter. Once the staging period has been agreed, we will send you a final letter of confirmation. Yours sincerely, Julia Andrews, Division of Health. Well, Someone's knocking twice. Fuck off, man. Wrong way with that. Where's the knocking coming from? Eh? Oh, 
Ovome. O, ne. O. <laughs> Other thing. You're going to dump me again, aren't you, you selfish bitch? Maybe. After that, maybe. Right, okay. I don't want to go back to here. I'm not a fan of the gate and door opening situation, man. Chloe's diary, October 10th, so she dumped me all those years and she decided to make me good. That's, that's what I do. I think this is where I originally started. Maybe I've put the game a little bit too bright. Like you keep when you come in. Bridge and inside October 12, 2016. Another child goes missing. Local boy is one of many children who go missing to go missing in recent weeks. He was last seen playing knock knock run with his friends. Go and play that game, Wigs. Wigs used to play that on Kerry's <laughs> Kerry's door. Upstairs we go. Methadone telling me there's all the tablet and these 300 milligrams. Yeah. Well, you can't see it, but my game's glitched. <laughs> right, thank you for testing all that. It didn't work as, as I expected it to. It's not 100%. Thank you for testing it, though. Hang on a minute. Oh, I don't like that effect. Some... Missing child, nine year old boy, height four foot one, hair colour brown, date missing Monday, 10th of October 2016. What was that? Last seen wearing dark red jumper over white t shirt, blue jeans with uh, white trainers. Fuck no. Oh, the 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 knocking. Chloe's. Chloe's diary, October thirty first, twenty sixteen. I had a dream last night after I was messing around with that ritual shit I found. 
It wasn't exactly a dream, more like I was li reliving a memory. The scariest door in appeared in front of me. It had a goat head on it, which really creeped me out. The, missus ch the missing children, the ones from the news, are waiting just outside the door. And I'm shouting, don't knock the door. Two loud bangs and I wake up in a puddle of sweat. I know it's... I know where the door is, you don't need to keep doing it. I was like, eh? Well, I was getting a cheek. <laughs> I was a drug addict, I hate those words, but it's the truth. When I was really bad, I figured out you were safer with someone else looking after you. I tried to get you back sooner, I really did, but they wouldn't let me. They said it, I wasn't ready, but I'm ready now. I love you, Chloe. This is where she was. Knock, knock, knock. Jess and Chloe. Oh, yeah, just open them. How many mirrors? Oh. What the fuck is going on? Is someone else here? Please mine. Have I? Have I? Jess's diary, October 16, 2016. I wish Ben was here. It's not the same when he's away. He's been my rock through all of this and so supportive of Chloe's custody case. He's right when he said you can't change the past and what matters is that I'm trying to do the right thing now. The scariest thing about having a child, it's not the pain or the sleepless nights, it's the love and nobody prepares you for that. I loved Chloe when she was born, when I was when I was high, when I gave her up. Even when I was a thousand miles away and I love her now, she's mine and I'll never let anyone take her from me again. I'm not walking this long purpose, it's the game. Oh, Chloe. Why, 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 why? Why would you do such a thing? Aren't you lovely? That is creepy. That is like... Creepers, creepers. Oh, didn't mean to do that, sorry. Back water from the well to, to cleanse the souls of innocence she, des she devours. Those want to fuck off, though. I'll take this off. Oh. I turn around and I'm gonna gone. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there's fucking three of them. This is Diary, October 11th, 2016. It's been so tough the past few days. Chloe hates me and I don't blame her. I'm trying to make it up to her. I'm trying to make her see that I am not the same person who was unfit to look after her all those years ago. Letting him take her away from me was the hardest decision I could ever make. But it was the right one. I needed help. Sometimes even now when I can't sleep, I ache for another fix. Thank God I have my work to distract me. I spent hours last night in the studio working on my last, latest sculpture. I'm not really totally happy with the concept, but it's slowly getting there. I just wish the same could be said about my relationship with Chloe. Okay. Oh. Floating. Fucking hell. Why are you doing this to me? I wish you were dead. Thanks. In Slavic folklore, Baba Yaga is a supernatural being who appears in a deformed, ferocious looking woman. She's the most ancient kind of witch, truly dark. She dwells in purgatory and feasts on children. You cannot just simply go and pray on children to eat, they have to be given to her in the form of a sacrifice. This ritual is believed would give her the power over death itself. Why would you do it? Oh, fucking hell, man. Freak the fuck, man. Right. Eight mannequins and shit. Get freaked out, Madame Two Swords, man. What you don't know? Don't go in there. Is that statue smiling at you? I think so. Freak us out, man. fucking scared it's come for me this is all my fault yeah it is shouldn't be fucking about summon a ritual gemstone and just <laughs> smash the ipad off buy it a cooker called dead heart what's this Oh, my candles run out. Mm. Mm. Fucking hell, man. I'm sorry, please help. I didn't mean what I said. No. May 9th, 2016. Ben Thomas on behalf of Jessica Webb Thomas. To whom it may concern, I've known Jess for over five years now and we have been lovingly married for the last three. It is with great honour and privilege that I write this character reference for my wife. She is my soulmate and a passionate, loving and caring woman. She is a shoulder to cry on, my voice of reason, and I would be proud for her to be the mother of my children. I keep looking at my TV for the achievements. I believe that depriving Chloe from Jess is depriving everything that she has to offer and the chance for her to make amends. We know mistakes were made a long time ago and I truly believe that Jess will do anything to assure Chloe is safe, happy and loved. She has, returned her, she has turned her life around and become a success, and I truly believe she deserves a second chance to be with her daughter. Sincerely, Ben Thomas. Well, Ben. Maybe. Candles ran out. 
We shouldn't be letting Chloe move in. Who does? Summons things. You're my oh, oh, I'm not. I'm not. Hmm. Did that say you're mine before? Oh. What's happening to me in the kitchen? The doll of burns. This might not be the kitchen. Oh, these pictures are all changing. Fucking door one. Where's the kitchen? There it is. Norma better have been here making fajitas. I missed that because I was. Re oh, okay, the fridge fell. There was a young woman bullied and teased by all her all the other people in her village. She was always alone and longed to be a, a mother and have a child to love and care for. My seasickness comes in waves. <laughs> As she grew older, she became more and more of a recluse. Children used to prank her knowing she yearned for a child and would knock on her front door and run away. It is said that this is what drove her insane. In her insanity, she made a deal with a demon, that demon being the Baba Yaga. Thank you. <laughs> a deal was made to grant the woman a wish, a child. In doing so, she had to serve the Baba Yaga by, diff by making sacrifices to her. As the village children taunted her, she sought revenge on them by putting a curse on her front door. By doing so, condemning the child who knocked on her door to be his chosen sacrifice for Baba Yaga. Don't knock and run. Axe. Take the axe. Take the axe. Oh, I can do it. Yes. I'm a proper pro at these achievements, mate. Stop looking at yours, it's me. Oh. 
Ouch. They actually smashed it up. Fucking dick. Jess and baby Chloe, happy times. The right note is the key to find the spirit of the soul. That one. What did it do? What did it do? Huh? It sent me to a secret bathroom. And how? Yep. Drop that. Folklore of the Baba Yaga tells of servant's curse. The bearer of the necklace shall do thy demons bidden. The evil hag powers are limited on earth and she needs the help of a human slave or cursed soul to carry out her commands. It is said that the only way the servant can be free of the demon is if to kill itself or if they strick someone else into replacing them by some doing something truly evil. So I'm gonna say I don't need that anymore to run out. I'm gonna take this if I can. Smash. Don't do that. Something is going to happen in those mirrors. They're too clear. Been in there. Oh, hang on.
Fucking horse. Hi, Tong. How are you? Thank you for the bit. <laughs> you twat. Bennett Jessica's engagement 2012. Steam reveals secret to the A. Oh, A. <laughs> Only me. <laughs> Punk's entrance. Guys, I need you to vote. What? 4862. 4862. What's the vote? Yes. No, don't scare us. <laughs> I haven't had one for ages. No, oh, hello. Tonk, be on my side. Oh, see, Tonk says yes. What was this number again? Oh, fuck. 4862? You don't get a vote. Thanks. Four eight six two. Go 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 go. Oop, didn't see that coming. <laughs> Tonk said yes. Oh, never, Tonk. They are crap like. Hurry, I can hear it. There's something in the basement. You did it. Something, something in the basement. Tonk said yes. That's one vote though. <laughs> oh well. Wig said yes. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I could, if she's gonna get me a kebab, Lama. Three yeses. <laughs> right, we need the basement. Open. No. Marlo said yes, please. <laughs> There we go. It's like six. Oh, the kitchen's blocked. That's right. I 
What's that room? Where the fuck's the basement again? Should I be opening all these? Smash that handle. No. Fuck. Oh. Mannequins and shit, man. Fuck. Oh. Oh my god, scary as fuck, what the hell? Please, mate. Finally. What we all want in a horror game. Not drop the axe. Passed down generation to generation, a tale has been told of a child that strayed too far from their mother in the forest. The child came across a house, the front door guarded by a horned goat. The goat leads the child in inside, never to return again. The old woman has see been seen wandering the forest for lost children. To lead them to the house, the story always changes, but the ghost remains constant. Goat. Goat. Yes, thank you. Keep this. Feel safer. Oh, oh, I don't feel safer. No. Oh. No. No. Fucking cheapest creepers is over here, man. Probably playing dress up with my TR off, but this pull the stone so I make a rotten flesh. No. Is that it? Is that it in the basement, please? Fucking hell on that thing. Oh, shit, fuck us. Nothing was in the basement.
Hit it. Thank you. I'm not going back in there. Mm. Blood everywhere. Oh, that. <laughs> Get in. Hey, it's not very often I want one. And I've wanted one for weeks. Because you always have something though. <laughs> Right, so what was in the basement then? Left the basement and I don't think I should have yet. What would you get me? case of like this brick wall or something. Oh. All now to come now, don't think it's coming for you. He gets fast food every day. Just about. I think it's coming back for you. Pretty much. What's a fucking kitchen? Room. Can't remember where the ritual thing was. He does. Could you restart without the vendor? 
So, Trunk, what did you get from McDonald's? Never alone! Steaks and made spicy nuggets are spicy. They are. They are. Did you like the... I like the spicy... Spicy chicken burger that they did for a bit. I remember the spicy nuggets weren't as spicy as that the first time round. I love the McSpicy. And I like the chicken Big Mac. Chicken Mac. Oh, I like the, ch the chicken Big Mac. The spicy nuggets are definitely hot, I like. Said, did you enjoy the mug spicy when it was out? I did. Turn the game down a little bit. You only had it once. Now I wouldn't ever say no to a mug spicy way. Can't turn, you know. How the fuck do I get out here? Yes, yes, you can. But there are some. I don't know, get out here. While I was locked in, they gave a double cheeseburger for them. Oh. It won't let us do anything, so... What? What? I think it's glitched. Fucking games, man.
Yes, TB. TB after every day. <laughs> oh, for fucking hell, man. You have got them all now. Yeah, 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 yeah. This fucking. What were we like? <laughs> yeah, no. TB, kiss, kiss. Did you not? We, I definitely did. <laughs> Glitched out again. I'm gonna give up. These bloody games. Right. Anyway, my food is on the way. Gotta go. Stuffed. Mm. All right. But thank you all for being here. Is there anyone that you would like me to raid out to whilst you are all in? Random British dudes playing the bathhouse by food. <laughs> Thank you all for being here, Lama. Um, random British dude. Mrs. Lama, tongue for the bits. Lucy for the sub and wigs, obviously, for his best presence, too. I'm going to raid out to random British dude, uh, who's currently playing Chiller's Art the Bathhouse, which is what I want to play. Those games are weird. I've got them all ready to play. I've just checked his stream, actually. He looks like he's not there. So we'll cancel that one. <laughs> he is playing words on stream. Let's cancel that one. It's okay. Fuck's sake. Oh, all right. I'll go with this guy, he's playing Resident Evil 2. Thank you again for being here. Really do appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Night, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Lama. Doodles!